Hi there, friends and family. Well, I am so excited to be back with you because in this little note, little video, we can spend some time talking a little bit about an absolute favorite story of mine. And all of us know this story very well. You know what they say, familiarity breeds contempt, but let it not be like that for us. I want us to review that story with Daniel in the lion's den, but with the heat, heat theme in mind. All right, so I want to ask you a question. Do you think that Daniel's scenario where he was thrown in the lines, then do you think that was a heat generating situation? <laughs> well, I don't think it could have been any hotter because his life was on the line. Now, did Daniel get all hot and sweaty and bothered? There is nothing in the story that leads me to make that inference, none whatsoever. The next question I want to ask you, did he have something available to him that we do not have? What do you think? Now, what he had available to us, to him, we have, and that is the power of prayer. Daniel lived a life of prayer. He didn't just pray occasionally and pray when there was some kind of trouble. He had a devotional life which involved prayer. So when he was suddenly, as it were, because it came quite suddenly, when he was thrown into that trial, it did not throw him hel helter-skelter as at all. He remained firm in his purpose and on the pathway that he was heading. He continued to pray. And just imagine, family, he didn't even close the windows. No, you know if that had been us, you know what we would do? We would have shut them windows real fast and we would have run under the bed and prayed because we would not let those plotters see us praying. But we would still still keep praying, but, but it would be um, we keep it under a lid. Now, I want to draw to your attention that Daniel knew he could have lost his life. You know, he did not explicitly say, like the three Hebrew, Hebrew boys did, um, I know my God is able to deliver me, but if not, he didn't say that. But he exuded, obviously, he exuded such a calm confidence and trust in God that it was the king who said to him, when he was just about to fling him in the lion's den, the king said to him, I know that your God is able to deliver you. So Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. And let me ask you a question. He spent the whole night in there. He didn't spend an hour or two. It was the whole night. Do you think while he was in there, or for a fly to be on, or, or that we could be a fly on the wall? But what would we see? Would we see Daniel pacing up and down and, and hot and sweaty and bothered? No. I think he was fast asleep. He was praying. Or he might even have, have had his head <laughs> resting on one of the lions. So what was the king doing then? Man, the king was the king was afflicted with some insomnia. He could not sleep. No, the king was in some real heat. So the next morning, you know, you know the story. He flew down to the mouth of the lion's den and he called out. No doubt there was a pregnant pause when he said, Daniel, was your God able to deliver you? And then after that pregnant pause, Daniel's voice erupted out of that den and said, Live forever, king. The God I serve, who, who I, I, Daniel said, I am his servant. He has delivered me. That's my little paraphrase. It means the same thing. And family, do are we God's servants too? So when we get thrown into a lion's den, can we trust God to deliver us? Something that's interesting about this story, I, and I, I want to reiterate it. Daniel did not go into the lion's den for just a five minutes or ten minutes. He was there the lifelong night. Sometimes we may be in situations that go, go on for a while, but does that negate the power of God to hold us and to keep us? Of course not. There, there are so many lessons to be inferred from this story that if I go into all of them, I will go on with this note for a long time. But I'm going to wrap up. But I want to encourage you, family. These stories, David and Goliath too, many of them contain principles for understanding the, that, that thing of no heat. As long as we have God's presence with us, he comes into our situations and he becomes a big air-conditioned unit. You ever proved that? Have you ever proved that for yourself? 
You will prove it, man. God will not fail us. He protects us in or he protects us from. So family, next note, I got something sweet to share. So you coming back, I looking for you. God bless you. See you next time.